A mental health background felt like enough preparation for a first visit with a mom postpartum. I headed into her home armed with my best sleep tips and self-care speeches. We watched happily as the baby stretched and yawned. We talked about important things like breastfeeding and how the baby was eating and pooping. I watched her smile as the baby yawned sweetly in her arms. As the baby rested, I readied my self-care speech and dared to say, tell me how you're doing. Her eyes widened and I saw it. The moment. The I can't do this for 18 years moment. The I haven't slept in 24 hours moment. I smile and pat her hand as tears soaked her spit up covered t-shirt because I know these are just growing pains, mama. One year later at a park I had once used as a place of productivity and charting, I'm surrounded by a different kind of growth, something small and barely noticeable. Between the laughter and the kids playing, between the out of tune happy birthday song and the frozen birthday cake, I see it, the moment. The how is this her third birthday moment? The moment that maybe these little sticky hands won't hold mine forever. But I smile and sing and help hand out cake slices because I know these are just growing pains, mama. The call came during my normal work day, screaming, crying, Broken glass shattered like the vase she placed herself in when the relationship began. I could hear the agony in her voice. He hurt me. Suddenly, my day changed into finding her safety and finding necessities, shelter from the raging storm in her home that she had built. The bags of basic comfort weighed heavy in my hands as I fought the cold January air to reach the doors of the safe house. I got back to the car and stared at my lap, eyes filling for the second time that day. I felt it, the moment, the hope-filled moment that she got away, so she's gonna stay away, moment. I know she may not make it, moment. For a second, these moments wrapped themselves around my throat, squeezing the compassion from me. Then I felt a hand squeeze mine. She had come with me as a source of comfort because my client's story had once been her own. It's just growing pains, bug, she said as she smiled and tucked the empty bags away. Feeling our stories intertwine every day feels a lot like growing pains in the best way. I've learned their choices are not my own, and there's something special about learning to love the in-between, the struggle, the long nights without sleep, the sting of watching your infant become a toddler, the ache of watching the one you love turn into a monster, the moment before you rise. There's magic in that place, and I've watched moms grow and bloom like they never imagined. But at the same time, I've watched myself grow and bloom like I never imagined.